Hello, and welcome to Arc Titan. In this demonstration, I will go through all the aspects of our Arc Titan cloud offering, and also show you the Outlook folder. So once we set you up with an account, we will give you a, the login details. This will include the URL to go to, your username, and your password. Once you log in, you are presented with this screen. The first tab is the System Monitor tab. There's a large amount of data here, but the main aspect is here under Document Count. As you can see, there is just over 200,000 documents here. What that relates to is the volume of mail that has been archived for your account. So in this account, there's just over 200,000 emails archived. The next tab, Reports. You can run on-demand reports for most active users, active users by volume, and most used domains. And the final report is the Usage Summary. This shows how much disk space has been used up, it's a mirrored instance, so all the data is on two disks, so we have full redundancy. Next is basic configuration. Before we set the trial up, we will ask you some questions. One of the questions is, what email address would you like to use as your data guardian? We will then enter this on setup. The data guardian receives a report on activity by privileged users. Privileged users have access to search and take action on the entire archive. I'll explain them a little bit more detail later on. The next tab is the local users accounts. This is where you would create privileged users. Or if you were not giving login to everybody, only to certain people, you can create that login here. You can also give them the level of access required. There are three levels of access. You've got basic user, privileged user, and administrator. The administrator access is what you see here. The privileged user has a search and they can search the entire archive, but they would not have access to these. And the basic user is your basic user account who can search their own email address, their email. If you have more than one permission level in your for yourself, you can toggle between the views, and I will show that in a little bit also. The next tab is LDAP servers. So if you want to allow users to log in to the archive to search their own mail, you can create a link to your Active Directory LDAP, and this will sync the user, the username and passwords from their from the AD credentials, so they can log into the interface using those. There are two ways of logging into ArcTitan. You can do it via the browser by the link that we will provide you, or you can download a VBS file and push that out via GPO. And the next time the users open their Outlook, they will have an ArcTitan search folder. I will again show this in a little bit. The last one here is user directory. So once you've got an LDAP server in place, you can search for email addresses here to make sure they have been imported correctly. And the final tab is the email management. You have the exclusion rule manager. So if I click on create rule, you can create a rule here to discard certain email addresses. So if you have an email address that receives or sends mail and you do not want to archive for that address, you can simply add it here. So if the mail is from that address, it will be uh, excluded from archiving. If you add it here, any mail to that address will be excluded. And finally, the import mail manager. During discussions, we will know if you have got previous archive that you need to be imported, whatever size that is, from 
10 gigabyte to 20 terabyte that's no problem we will talk to you about this and the process on importing this mail we would obviously help you along along that path and you can view the process of the import from this tab as i mentioned a little while ago you can download a vbs file and push it out via gpo to all your users that is done from the link that we'll provide you for login the link will be very similar to this and you'll see this here create outlook folder to arc titan you simply click on that that will download a vbs file that can be then pushed out via gpo or you can run it on the local machines individually and once that is done the next time the user opens their outlook they will see this folder arc titan search once they log in using their ad credentials or the credentials you have provided them they'll be presented with this screen this screen here is the basic user so at this level i can only search my own archive as i mentioned you can switch between roles that is done via here switch identity if i switch to the privileged user i am presented with a very similar screen as the basic user but there is a new tab here called reason for search the privileged user is quite a a strong level of access so the privileged user must give a reason for their search this then would be sent on to the data guardian that we previously configured and the data guardian will receive an email to say joe blogs did this search at this time and got these results and this was the action they took on that mail and then finally I can talk to administrator so if I'm the administrator I never have to go to the browser interface again I can do it all directly from my Outlook any questions just let us know thank you